All right, for this example, we're given two points. Point P is negative three, two, negative three. Point Q is one, negative one, four. And we're asked to do a couple things. We're asked to find parametric equations for the line running through those points. And then we're asked to parameterize the line segment joining those two points. So the uh, formula for the parametric equations is going to be x equals x naught plus v1 t, uh, y equals y naught plus v2 t, and z equals z naught uh, plus v3 t, where x naught, y naught, z naught are the coordinates, the x, y, and z coordinates for some point on the line and v1, v2, v3 are the components of a vector that's parallel to the line. Um, so let's start off by finding a vector, call it vector v, that is parallel to the line that includes both those points. And to find the components, we're just going to take this uh, x-coordinate for q minus the x-coordinate of p. So uh, 1 minus negative 3 is going to be 4i, um, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3j, and then 4 minus negative 3 is positive 7k. So there's, there's a vector that is parallel to, uh, to this line. And now we've got a point, as a matter of fact, we've got a couple of points on that line, and we can choose either one of them. And then we've got a vector um, that's parallel to that line. And, uh, and so we can make these parametric equations. Uh, it's going to be x equals, and we'll take this uh, the x coordinate here, negative 3, um, plus 4t. And then y equals 2 minus 3t. And then z equals uh, negative 3 plus 7 t. And notice that these parametric equations are not unique. We could have, uh, we could have chosen q as our, as our points there. That would still get us, that would still describe the same line. Um, all right, so now the next task is to uh, parameterize the line segment. So right now we've got a line going off uh, to infinity in both directions, to positive infinity to negative infinity. Um, we want just the line segment. So we need to put some parameters on this, on t, so that, um, so that we're just getting that line segment from this point to that point. Um, we'll notice that we're going to get point p if we plug in 0 for t. Um, if we plug in 0 for there, we're going to get negative 3. Plug in 0 there, we get 2. Plug in 0 there, we get negative 3. And that shouldn't be any surprise because that's, uh, that point is where we got those numbers. Um, but then uh, what are we going to plug in for t to get q? What, what's the value for t that's going to give us the other end point of our line segment? Well, um, Let's set this equal to the coordinates there. So this is going to be 1 equals negative 3 plus 4t. Uh, negative 1 equals 2 minus 3t. And then uh, 4 equals negative 3 plus 7t. And notice for each of these, if we were to uh, add 3 to both sides, we get 4t equals 4. So t equals 1. Uh, move this 2 over, we're getting negative 3t might equals negative 3. Uh, so t equals 1. Uh, move that over similarly. We're going to get 7 t equals 7. So t equals 1. So if t is 1, we're going to get q. We're going to get this point q. If t is 0, we're going to get the point p. So we want the points, um, we want t to be between 0 and 1. And, uh, and so all we need to do to parameterize this is just take the equation the uh, parametric equations for this line, and then add uh, that t is going to be between 0. So 0 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 1. And that's, 
that's our parametric equations uh, parameterized so that we get this line segment.